In this video, I will show you step by step how to install Amazon Fire Stick to your TV for the first time. So let's get started. This is all we got inside the box. The first step is to insert the two provided batteries into the remote control. Back of your TV, you should have an HDMI port to insert the Amazon Fire Stick. So simply insert the Amazon Fire Stick to one of these HDMI in port. You could charge your Fire Stick using Mission USB power cable or provided power adapter. Simply connect the micro USB cable to the Fire Stick to keep it powered. If the back of your TV doesn't have enough space, you could also use the HDMI extender cable that's provided in the package. Now first I would use my TV's remote control to turn on my TV and then I will select the HDMI port that I have inserted the Fire Stick. Then it will start showing Fire Stick in different languages. On your remote control to select an option you need to press the middle circle in here and to choose between left and right you need to select the ring left and right or top and bottom here and sometimes you would need to use the play pause button or the menu button or the volume button now use your fire stick remote control and press the play pause button to go to the next page here it would ask you to choose your language as you can see there are lots of English as an option however you need to select the language from the country where you bought the Amazon Fire Stick from once selecting the language it will start scanning for networks select your network enter your network password and then select connect in order to connect to your Wi-Fi after a few seconds it would connect successfully to your Wi-Fi then Fire TV would start downloading the latest software and then it will start installing the latest software it would take some time so be patient then Fire TV would initialize it might again try to download the latest software and install the software again don't panic it's normal let it do its job once the update is completed it would ask you to sign in or create an account if you don't already have an Amazon account since I have an Amazon account I select have an account sign in now we got to follow these steps I will show you how to do it from your phone but you could follow the same method on your tablet or on your computer simply open any browser on your phone and then on the top type in amazon.co.uk or amazon.com or any other endings where you bought the amazon from then touch sign in then enter your email id and then touch continue then enter your password and make sure keep me signed in is checked and then touch on sign in now that we have successfully signed in onto our phone we need to go to this link that's provided on the screen if you bought your fire stick from USA then you need to go to amazon.com forward slash code but if you bought it from any other country then you need to go to that respective countries such as amazon.co.uk forward slash code if you have bought it from the UK so I suggest you to type this link on your Google Keep or OneNote or any other note making app and then select it and then select open link then it would automatically open the link on your browser and then Amazon would ask you to enter the code that you can see on the screen onto this web page and then touch on continue to verify yourself and to log in onto your Fire Stick. As you can see, Fire TV has successfully registered. If you find that the previous step was too complicated, you could use another method which is by logging in into to your fire stick directly from the fire stick itself by pressing this button and then enter your email ID and press next and then enter your password and login directly now let's get back to where we left 
then Fire Stick would once again would ask you to confirm that you want to register with this account. If you're happy, then simply select continue. Do you want to save your Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon? I simply select no. Do you want to enable parental controls or no parental controls? Because I have got no kids, so I select no parental controls. Here, make sure your soundbar is connected to your TV, or at least your volume is high enough that you could hear from the TV. So, select next to start the test. Now, Fire TV is trying to test your TV's sound or your soundbar's sound system. So, simply use your Fire Sticks remote control to increase or decrease the volume and check whether it works here I tested on my TV and the remote control can control the volume of my soundbar if your remote control doesn't control the volume of your soundbar then you need to press this button to enter advanced setup but because it works for me I simply select yes and then you get a message saying your fire tv remote is now successfully set up here it might give you some offers such as these which i say no thanks here you could choose apps that you would want fire stick to download or you could simply select no thanks and download them later on but i select okay choose apps and i choose a few of the apps that i think are useful for me to download them later on so simply select the app that you're interested then press the play button to continue then it will say the following will be added to your home screen so simply select finish here it gives a summary of what you can do on fire tv so simply select ok then it would ask you who is watching the fire tv so select the account by which you are watching and then fire tv would start loading its home page here it is we have successfully finished installing fire tv on the tv here you can easily open any video on prime video to play or any other apps that you're interested there is a dedicated button for amazon music if you press then amazon music app would open and you can play any music from amazon music for free if you are a prime member and then if you press the home button you could go back to the home and while you're browsing for other apps or other videos your music would continue playing in the background from Amazon Music. You could also easily navigate here and choose an app and then it would also suggest you other apps that other customers used. For example, I select TED and then it would start playing TED Talks. The best thing about the Fire TV is that you could use the same remote control to turn on your soundbar and TV and once your TV turns on, it automatically understands which HDMI port to use and to open the Fire TV's homepage. To learn more about Amazon Fire TV or Echo Dot, Please don't forget to watch the videos on the screen and also please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel.